my experience at Jazzport Townsend. Hi. It's um it's been a great one, a great experience on all levels from in dealing with the interaction with the students and the my colleagues that are the the um professors and or the uh the the teachers the mentors so to speak you know get a chance to interact with quite a few mus musicians that I very seldom get an opportunity to see and it's in such a great setting as such because this is the kind of place that I grew up in I'm from a small town in Georgia called Waynesboro so you know like the birds uh, whatever that is cawing behind me it's um and it's a wonderful experience musically in terms of nature and just the what the speed of the town i live in new york city and um to come to a place like this is so you know reminds me that there's no place like home so and and, and you know and even though this is not my home it feels like it and that's the most important thing so the uh, camp itself has been been wonderful in terms of the way it's set up john clayton is a uh, great mind in terms of put, putting this together in terms of interaction between the the faculty and staff uh, you know the colleagues with the students and it's I think it's a great experience from all because it's learning across the board the things that we share with them and the things that we get from the students and they come from all over the country and and probably abroad so it's been a wonderful experience I would do it every year my combo well this year I, I have a, a combo I'm not sure if all if the across the board the, the the level of the musicianship has gone up last year when I was here I had a um a, a combo that was not beginners but there was material we had to spend a lot of time talking about um dealing with issues in terms of playing the instruments my combo this year they have a certain level of mastery on their instruments so we can now talk about concepts and the application of the concepts that we use when playing in a small group setting and uh, they're pretty receptive and they catch on quick so and they're going to play some music this evening they chose to uh, play they wanted to do some of my original compositions I said well okay what so I'll just bring something so they're going to perform four tunes uh, th this evening and um, two of them are original compositions of mine one is a tune that I commissioned was commissioned to write for a student called the nick of time and it, it, it plays on the shuffle swing and then goes into it goes into like a halftime, like almost a booga boogaloo or a um, hip-hop swing. And then they do some kind of up-tempo, and then they close, not close, but they play two standard compositions. They're going to do Body and Soul. And the singer in my group, Ariel, she's going to, she plays piano, and she's going to sing Body and Soul, which I love because it's great for the students to play and to master these instruments but the instruments are an extension of our voice and she's going to demonstrate that so well and lovely she's going to she wants to she said can i sing so of course and, 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 and that's very unusual because normally it's hard to get musicians to sing even if they're using the voice to work on um technical devices in terms of their development and playing and they'll close with um chicoria tune spain but then it is it's going to feature several members of the ensemble and um you know they're ready and motivated which i really like because we were we had scheduled rehearsals i think they had three extra rehearsals and all of them were in my in my absence but um, I was going to be at one of them, but um, I got scheduled to do a few other things so I couldn't be there, but they took it upon themselves. And, and that's the thing, one of the things that we try to teach the students to take ownership in terms of being responsible and, you know, I can't give it to you. I can give you the information, but go out and seek the um, seek what you're going to need to be able to reach your goals and objectives whether it's in terms of the playing I mean the the total performance aspect and that's what they've done you know they had three rehearsals uh, and I'm interested in hearing what they're going to sound like I'm sure it's going to be wonderful because they, they're, they're very very good musicians and you know they're going to deliver the goods Ariel grew up well I met I mean, when I first met Ariel I think I'm not sure if she's a sophomore going to a junior year or junior going into her senior year but she's definitely grown just she's very shy um, and when I, I remember meeting her um, she's pretty shy so for her to go from sitting to the piano and not wanting to get in anyone's way and not wanting you know just kind of she just kind of stayed behind kind of in the in the background to see her come to me and say um, 
Can I sing? That's yes, definitely she's grown. She, she, she stepped away, and you know, she, 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 she wants to do it. And that's the type of thing, you know, you have to be willing to, in order to walk, you have to stumble and fall. Same thing in terms of running, and that's the kind of spirit. And she still has that shyness, that meekness about her, and um, she's very, very humble, and I like that. So, therefore, she's much more receptive or very receptive to taking the information in and then utilizing it and then, you know, she's going to be, she's going she's gonna to be a great musician, you know, she, is, she already is, but as she grows and develops, you know, that shyness is going to work for her because she doesn't come off as, she's, what, she does she, 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 what can I say, I don't, I don't really know how to say it, she's, she's a very nice person, a very warm person, you know, anyone would, would want to be around and or work with. And then, and then when she needs to, she'll take charge. But she's very smart. I see that, that, that she, she's wise enough to be... Um, <laughs> she, 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 she's wise enough to, to take the information and take it. And just like little baby steps. you mind if I sing one? Before you know it, she's going to have her own band, big band, and she'll be doing, you know, she'll be doing her thing. <laughs> and I look forward to it. John is... I was known him as first the musician, but then the educator, the administrator, the you know it's it's, it's been magnificent to see the you know the fruits of his labor in many different situations. Here on the West Coast, I think here at Centrum was the first time I saw it uh, firsthand um, when I came here last year, and then recently we did a festival that involved education activities on the East Coast where I'm from at a Savannah Music Festival, and how he came in and. You know, the great thing about working about John is he knows what needs to be done. He knows how it needs to be done, but he also has the intuition and the insight to know that, that, that and to be able to successfully do that. Um, to he's great with dealing with the, the the personalities and the characters, and you know how do you address? You know he has a golden objective, and to get there is not a matter of there's a template for doing it. There may be a template, a basic template, but in the spirit of improvisation, I've, I've seen him um, work where he can figure out how to get a job done. Because when you're dealing with different musicians, different personalities, different characters, being a band leader, one thing, being a leader of a camp, that's, you know, you're, you're responsible for, for just about every aspect. I've never seen him upset. I'm, I'm sure he probably do, does get that way, but he never... It never gets in the way of the music, and it never gets in the way of his job. And that's one thing, you know, I would always, I always love working with John. And even though I haven't played with their big band, I imagine that it must be the same type of wonderful experience. You know, nice person, cool, genuine. And it's, uh, you know, it, 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 it's a beautiful thing to see. As a matter of fact, I asked him, I said, if I ever wanted to start a festival, can I, you know, get you to come out or to hire you as a consultant to show me how to do what it is that you do? Because what I see is success. On, on every level. And of course, there's always the challenges. Someone didn't get a phone call or something gets left at. Yeah, we're human. That happens. But he always has a smile on his face and he always comes greeting people every time, consistently. And I know he must get mad or pissed off. I don't know when or how. He's probably smiling when he's unhappy too. But, you know, there's a lot to be learned from that. And it emanates through to the colleagues, to the students throughout the camp. And you know, and I know I know for a fact it's not an easy task, you know, just, just being a band leader. That's one, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe and admiration of him for that. You know, thanks for your support. Those that don't support me, thank you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but you know, oh, just be true to yourself. Practice. Mm -hmm. Live and enjoy life, but nothing, no, nothing special to anyone. We all share this. Um, we all share this place. So let's do it. Let's make the choice to have a good time while we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.